In this example, we want to create an average, but we're not sure how many periods. So do we want a three month average of the house prices or six months or five months, whatever you want. A very good function for this is the offset function. So it's a very good function to learn. So I'm going to first build the offset function. So the first thing it says is where's the reference? So I'm going to click on this cell. I'm telling Excel to go stand in that cell. The next thing we've got is rows and columns. I'm going to put a zero and a zero. What I'm telling Excel is go stand there and don't move. I don't want you to go left or right. I don't want you to go up or down at the moment. Notice, however, that I have not put dollar signs on the reference. As I copy this down, when I'm here, it must look at that cell. The height is the important part. We're going to tell it to have a height of whatever's in that cell. Because that's a single cell, we always want to look at it. So I'm going to put my dollar signs on. Now, when I click OK, nothing seems to happen. You'll notice that it's just given me that answer. That's because all Offset has done is told Excel to look at those five cells. What we haven't told Excel what to do is what must I do with those five cells? So I'm just going to go put an average around it. So it gives me six to five. Let's check one, two, three, four, five. And you'll see the average is six to five. Now I can copy it and paste it down. And what each one of these is doing is starting at that cell, highlighting the five because of that five and giving us the average. And now when I change this to a three, you'll notice the numbers change. So that's 620, which is now those three, 625 for eight. So now I can change pretty much to any number I want and the moving averages automatically update.